Last time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3! After Mio showed Team Ouroboros the original location of the city, they headed back to the Agnes Castle to help with the cleanup. Now that there is a ceasefire between the castle and the city, where shortly after, Mio informs the team from her shared memories with M that her friend Miyabi was alive and needed to go find her before they set off to search for Queen Mia. But before that could happen, a bunch of side quests popped up that D-Rex just had to complete, including hero quests for Manana and Teach, where Manana got a new cookie pot that she could use in battle without fear of warping or damaging it, so now the quality of the food that she makes is up to the standards of her cooking abilities. As for Teach, our heroes learned that at one point in time, Teach was known as All Slayer Oleg on Call Chi, a commander so ruthless that even his own tactics almost led to the destruction of his own colony, which was at that point he realized the hubris of his ways and why he changed his name to escape his haunting past and to ensure that others will not be corrupted by their own power as he was. Now the only question is, did D-Rex get some side quests done off camera so we can go and rescue Mio's friend? Find out on another episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3 today! Hey guys, uh, before we uh, get into today's video, uh, I just quickly wanted to uh, apologize for the poor uh, audio quality. Um, so apparently my uh, computer had a uh, you know system update and everything, and it reset everything, and being the dunderhead I was, I failed to make sure the settings were back to what they were. Uh, normally when I do my uh, game videos uh, if you're aware of it or not i usually use my headset here but it was connected to uh this microphone which at the time i had leaned away like over here so the audio quality isn't going to be the best but um what happened in the uh later in the video video as you see there's a lot of really a good uh heartfelt heartwarming uh moments so, yeah, just quickly wanted to uh, warn you guys ahead of time. And again, apologies, but I, hopefully uh, you still enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, here it is. Hey there, people of the internet, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Yabo Demix. And today we are continuing our Let's Play series of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And, uh, oh, oh boy, wow. We actually got quite a bit um, on our table to do because, uh, Turns out a lot of side quests that we have or that I discovered are involved nice uh, the city because uh, apparently does everything that went down really uh, stirred up the hornet's nest. Uh, I got things here. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Garrett, I believe his name. Uh, he's one of the 
houses um, in the uh, conservative uh, party who, you know, they're the ones they, they, they don't want to really get involved in the, uh, you know, problems of the world. They want to stay, you know, behind their, their, their wall, you know, like, oh, we're safe here. No, we don't want to do anything with that uh, stuff. And uh, there's kind of some, and basically, uh, Garrett is basically leading the charge into pushing uh, Monica's leadership skills. Let me just uh, fix uh, this. Let me go ahead and... Oh yeah, uh, teachers, teachers. Uh, we actually did not get this one done yet. I, I meant to do uh, get this one done, but I, I thought that um, at the end of teachers' uh, hero quest, I thought that was it. But it turns out it was. But we still gotta finish this one. Uh, but we got going home. Uh, shot to the system, and apparently for this one, it's uh, basically the elevation from where the city was in the Makana kind of Soar, you know, basically they dropped down to a lower elevation, and now there's some, like, you know, elevation sickness and stuff like that, and uh, let's see, there was another one, what was it? And, uh, see how you can find it here. Oh yeah, this one, Life in the City. So, uh, yeah, so, and you can see, uh, and again, this goes back to the, the old tension that's in the city right now. Um, after, you know, we liberated Colony 15, the soldiers, um, you know, they were still trying to find their footing now in this new, uh, you know, new world or what have you. And, uh, basically there's a lot of miscommunication, a lot of misunderstanding, and a lot of, uh, Garrett's boys thought, uh, like, oh, I knew that, that, that Colony 15 dude. Oh, he's up to no good. We need to take him out before, you know, he does something. And, you know, this kid right here, he asked this guy to train him. He, he, his dad did not want him to be part of the Lost Numbers and stuff like that. Um, so the guy's like, oh, yeah, sure, kid. And, you know, one thing led to another. Like, you know, fight, like I said. But things have um, settled down a little bit. Uh, but we actually got, uh, we actually also have a couple of hero quests to get done. Like this one, uh, Feral Rest. Apparently, because Fiona is keeping hush hush about what happened with Irma, the colony is actually starting to question her. Like, they start to, you know, yeah, basically, like, we don't know if we can, you know, trust you, obviously, you're not telling us all the information. So, and again, this is kind of, you know, a situation like this with Irma, it's like, you know, it, it, it makes me think of, you know, like, sometimes like silence is better than. You know, didn't say anything, but again, yeah, at some point, dude, you're gonna have to address this problem. Uh, I mean, like, from you remember, like, a lot of people liked Irma, uh, and they didn't, they didn't really get the closure, so they're trying to get answers about what happened to her, and you know, Fiona's afraid what's gonna happen if they find out. And so, you know, basically, for her, it's driven by fear, you know, of just the unknown and the uncertainty. For her, and uh, we still got. Maybe I'll pull, uh, let's look at this real quick. The people have to make so much noise. Yes, Ty, we do. And I know. Uh, yeah, I need to get. I need to get going. But yeah, we actually have a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, like the other hero quest is Alexandria's birthday. And apparently, they, they do celebrate uh, birthdays here. And yeah, six houses energy. You know, this one, this discussion will, will address a lot of the problems. The city's going through, and of course, Julieta, uh, Garrett's daughter, is back. I think this quest, I, I really want to do this quest, uh, just because I want to see you know her and Romero to get together. I mean, it's a love story, and then of course, we have Riku, um, uh, Riku's quest. We'll probably do that one next. I'll, since we're anybody? already here in Colony Mew, uh, actually, the, the idea uh, for this one is to hit. It's two and one. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping all over the place here. Uh, but you're shocked to the system. We need to gather a couple more materials to get to the medical facility. And one of the places to find is where all those flowers are. But, but going over there would kick off uh, this quest. So I didn't want to start any of that yet. And, but, but yeah, you either rambling enough. On you go ahead. 
And you're going with the lands in the forefront here. That's you know him and uh, Fiona have a. Oh, uh oh. So out of Leyland and Yuyu, who do you think's cuter? Leyland has the cuter nickname, I'd say. Though it's a shame, he always feels like he has to have an answer for everything. Oh, Lance! You're kind of popular! So let's. Nah, no, nah, I don't think Senna would be jealous. They're more like bros. You know, the people who are, you know, you know those, that, that friend you can trust with your life, you know, in those dire situations. Those are probably workout buddies. This one started at least. I wanted to change so I could stay together with my friends. But all I do is wallow in my own misery. Just not getting anywhere. I hate this. I keep missing you, Irma. And I hate that too. Oi, turkin bun. <laughs> huh? You you mean me? No, the other trick and bone. Who else would I mean? You're the dummy hurting your friends and yourself and then pretending not to notice. It ain't like you. I thought you wanted to build a new future for Colony Mew. I know, all right. I know things can't stay like this much longer. But I'm just so scared. I don't know if I can make the right choices. Yeah, I think we all have moments in our life where we're afraid that if we do something that will be devastating. I feel like I'll make some fundamental mistake and it's terrifying. Even though we're here. If you can't figure it out yourself, that's when you put your heads together with others. Yep. You even think of that? Your teamwork. Trust I agree with my colleague here. Though I must point out that putting his head with others may have adverse effects. Oh, oh, oh come on, God. oh come on! Why do you and Tyon have to do that to my boy? I mean, can we? Can you not give him credit, Tyon? What credit is due? Yes, Lance isn't the dinky one of the group, okay? But he has his moment. He's a he's a he's a giant with a with a, with a large heart, okay? Be nice to him. Watch it. Yeah. Hey. The guy with, with I know lots being of afraid. Trust me. But a worry shared is a worry have, yeah? We wanna help you, Fifi. Sanny, that's so nice. Oh Sen, that nickname. Oh. I, I love this calling. They have nicknames for everyone. It's it's enough to make a girl bad drop. But not this man. Get back in there, Tia. If Manana can lend wing with anything, please say. Manana banana. Okay, please tell me that we're gonna go through all of the nicknames for everyone. We got Seti, Lan Lan, Mana Banana. Like, oh wow, that's a, that's a really good nickname. You don't have to wrestle with everything alone. Next time you forget your friends, I'm gonna call you Fiona Featherhead. That sounds cute! Manana also wants to be called! <laughs> I'll have to come up with something special for you. Yeah. Everyone. And there's Riku's like, whoa, thank you. Wait. Okay, so about the flowers for Irma. Cannot grow flowers for Irma. What was that, Goo? Instead, have to bury this. Goo Goo asked by Irma. Huh? A key. Irma's key. What's this? Tariku look like key, maybe. But also look super old. A key? But what does it unlock? Hmm. Irma has something planned out. Oh gosh. I I hope this quest doesn't make me cry. 
Because if it does, I don't know if I'm able to get through the rest of this video. Hmm. Didn't you say she used to wander off someplace? Ah. So maybe this is connected somehow. Treasured memories of her time with Fiona. Who? Did you hear anything else? Sorry, but nothing. Irma was woman of many secrets. Well, in an absence of obvious leads, uh, again, we'll just have to music, gather information ourselves. The music just adds another level. It just hits you right in the feels. If possible, we should investigate the Erythia relay base. Irma was meant to be in charge of this whole region. We may come across some form of evidence there. Mm -hmm. You think she left us a sign or something? If she'd left anything, it would have been camouflaged at the time. Now, however... The effects of her power clock. won't work anymore. Yeah, just now that the flame clock, it was invisible hiding in plain sight. We might see something that was hidden before. Even without Leech, should still go. Mm -hmm. Might discover more about steps of Irma than Fiona knew previous. Someone's being unusually nice. <laughs> Lance can fix own power frame from now on. Oh. Ow. What? What did I say? It's not what you said, but it's probably how you said it, Lance. <laughs> oh, look. You laughed. That's a good start. Let's go to Arithia Relay Base and check it out. All right. We'll look for information on the terminal in the data archives, like before. Yeah, I just love how... Some relationships changed. Um, everyone, you know, they were really gentle with Fiona there. But of course, you know, they were... I mean, there was a little bit of firmness there. But it was just enough to like, hey... All right, get up, quit your walling. We're here for you. And I come on, just like a big old, you know, big old group hug. Uh, well, since we're here, quick, uh, let me let me pull this up here quick. I believe it's gonna be up here that there was supposed to be more materials. What, what was it? Yeah, heavy problem, uh, pomegranate. I believe there was supposed to be more up here somewhere, but if there isn't, then I'm going to have to do that my own time. I only need like three more, so it shouldn't take me too long to do that, but I just have to find the stuff. Well, it's hidden. The game, the, my research lied to me, it said it was supposed to be up here, but there's none. I wonder what we'll find. We'll see when we get there, won't we? Alright. Hey! Agnes Soldier, did you not hear the news? They're on us. Orders? I guess I guess not. More enemies. Yeah, really, they didn't get the news that we're allies now. Oh. Did not get the notice that we are on a ceasefire. So, uh, yeah, we need to hardly get these quests done and get a hold of Nia. Like, I need to tell all the Angus troops that we're not fighting anymore. It is take the most time. 
Greek you're not particularly adept at. It's okay. Manana here also. I don't know if that's reassuring. Now Riku really won't. <laughs> You'll figure it out together. Manana Banana is strong when it counts, and Rickles can keep a cool head. Rickles, ah yes. Even if you're not great at something, oh. your friends can always cover your weakness. Rickles, oh. He didn't oh, come. That's one of the best names. Oh, look at that. Yuri's all ready to go. Cause you're the first one ready. We'll never let them through. All right. Where it is. And there we go. Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Seems like it's over, right? <laughs> Riku and Manana also cleaned up over here somehow. <laughs> Like, no, we did it. A large scale map of Agnian territories must be strategic military information. Sure, fancy. But how do we pinpoint where Irma might have been from this? Please direct complaints elsewhere. Security much too tight to crack. <laughs> it seemed locked even more tightly than last time. Maybe that's why we need Seriously? the key. Oh, sparks. Although it would be weird to use a, a key in, in that, you know, formation or whatever, or a setting like this, but hey, what do I know? No, hang on. How about here? The map showing a military installation. Huh? Huh? But there was never anything there. Is map wrong then? No. The management system is still functional. There's something here. No mistaking it. Mm. Then we should definitely check it out, Fifi. All right. Okay. Oh, um, speaking of maps, I almost forgot to um, mention something. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the uh, wood. So, yeah, um, for another quest that I did get done off camera. I was traveling down here and uh, there appears apparently to be a Nopon village here and I'm actually kind of curious to see what this is. I'm wondering if this is like remnants of the Nakta village in Definitive Edition. I really hope it is. And then maybe we'll get a call back to uh, Hero Potter Ricky! That's <laughs> right, I didn't say it. So, I mean, at some point, I really hope we can get to this, but of course, we're going to try to finish all the quests we have now, and then get to that, so, and, uh, that's actually, um, and then we actually have another, uh, quest event down here, even though it doesn't show it, uh, but, and that's, but anyway, anyway, oh, wait a minute, I never knew this existed. Oh, I was wrong. Wrong spot on the map. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Oh, yeah, because there's a door over here that I tried to get into. I couldn't. Now I can. Okay. Okay. I thought this was the other site, but no, it wasn't. Okay, there's the door. Irma, what secrets have you held locked in? Never seen this place before. But scared too. Ooh, a secret base. It's okay. I'm here for you. Is this documents? Irma's mask. Irma. Is this a consul's mask? A smell of mystery. Very strong in this place. Must be secret base. Okay. Documents. What's this? Irma's private Ooh, data. Ooh, music got a little creepy. That's not good. And here, someone else's. It could be the setting she used for her aliases. 
This may have been her trying to decide what kind of person to become. She also might have needed to disguise herself as someone else when dealing with Kevez. Here's a list of targets for harvesting. And it seems to include Kevesi people. She must have served as consul for Kevez, too. The periods when she disappeared must have been times when she acted as a Kevesi consul. Fifi, how are you holding up? I should have known we'd find something. So why... Why does it hurt so much? Because you, she was your friend. You generally thought she was your friend, Fiona. And to see all of this, it just... It digs that knife even deeper. I feel so bad for Fiona. I, I wish I could reach through the screen and give her a hug right now. It must be really hard for you. You must feel like you're getting knocked down time and again. But to quote Rocky, Oh, here it comes. You got, it's not as hard as you can hit it, but it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. I'm sorry, I just love that quote. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But still, you've decided you want to know the truth. Am I wrong? Yeah, in, yeah, in truth, it does, it, it can hurt. That's... No! That's precisely it. I decided I didn't want to forget, even if it hurts. Still, a bit early to be making decisions, though, huh? True, true! We not used key yet! Friend got to keep it together. Gotta yeah, keep it together. Fiona already learned. They're more involved than can see with eyes. Yeah. Thank you, Rickles. Ooh, cutscene. Of a keepsake box. Oh, and it's more emotional, gentle music, I guess. Oh no. It's oh, his oh. box. <sighs> a seashell and glass? And some thingamajig. They're from me. Gifts for her birthday. Oh. The shell. It's from when we found matching ones. And this, a charm we all made together. They've been stored carefully. Oh gosh, I knew I was gonna cry. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh gosh. <laughs> they know how to play with your feelings. Oh gosh. Huh. There, there had to be some other way. I get it. All right. I'll just, I'll just, be, I'll just, we'll just continue. They were important, but she wanted them locked away. Her feelings. It would be a whole lot easier if we just pinned her as bad. Problem is, though. That'd be missing the whole yeah, point. She, she had a lot of different feelings. And she felt it's like hard to sort her, fact from fiction. Her job. That's why we're stuck, umming and ahhing. Have you found it now? What matters? To make it through. She reminded me at the very end. And our promise. It lives within me even now. Friend can keep promise. Yeah. I can't Finally. exactly remember what the promise is. You guys can help me out in the comments section. Irma. I uh, appreciate that. <sighs> well, she got the closure she needed. That's what's important. And this? We're just going to leave it. Hmm. It will be easier to show everyone rather than just telling them. So you'll tell him what the deal is. Some won't be able to accept it, I'm sure. But still, the truth. for the new colony Mew, we have to be strong enough to face anything, even things we don't want to see, unless we can overcome that hurdle. I think we won't be able to really change. 
And that... That's what Irma taught me. Are you all right? Thanks, Henny. I'm fine. Irma's not with us anymore. But the things that she left for me are many. The colony, my friends, I'll protect them with all my might. Come on. There's a lot to do. Some relationships changed. Ooh, oh, my heart. It's, it's things like this that remind me not all the consoles are pure evil. Um, you know, like, you know, starting out with, you know, uh, Trident. You know, I mean, he joined Mobius so that he could live longer to go on all those adventures that he wanted. And, you know, as he got older, he realized that you know, it wasn't what he imagined. It just, it, wa it wasn't what he wanted. Oh, he realized that he made a mistake. And so he's like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, just, you know, give me a good old challenge to help me get the old, uh, excuse me, the old blood pump in. And then he's like, all right, you, yeah, you gave me a good one. Go ahead and smash it. And I'm going to join you guys. I'll take down the, take down Mobius and Irma, you know, too. It was basically Irma that started this whole thing where like, there's more to the, the consoles than meets the eye. And uh, I, I kind of feel like Irma is almost... I don't want to say polar opposite, but it's like, okay, so like, N, you know, he basically allowed his feelings to control him. And, uh, and basically, and then of course, you know, Zed, you know, manipulated those emotions, or or just twisted them just enough that even though when N made his choices, they were still you know his choices. Um, and like Earl, you know, she locked up her feelings, and you know, it, it, it shows you kind of the, the two extremes, um, in my opinion. But also, like, I recognize the fact that Earl too, you know, like. I gotta do all this, all this other stuff. Hot. Uh, we stay here alone, maybe? But there's no bath. Well, there's water right outside. So, and it's not like anyone ever comes over here. Fuck it. Those are the times and destinations of the console business are locked. Work manifests. The list of individuals harvested from Angus and Cabez. What's that? There's an X next to the names of everyone from Holy Meat. Hmm. Personal data. What's this? Oh. Did you get a to play with it? That's not the one I want. I want that one. Looks like all the details are laid out here. Name, term, gender, the lot. Is that the data for the soldiers Irma was posing as them? As them? Ian, wow. And so it, it feels like we kind of just had like a, you know, Every day is a training day. No, I don't know. I don't want to see honey in the hatchet because like nothing sweet was led up to this. It was just straight up the hatchet, but and. I can't think of the words right now, but, you know, I mean, yes, truth can, do, can hurt, but, you know, as I say, the truth will set you free, and in a case like this, you know, to try to get more, uh, information on Irma, I think, you know, really, to show that Irma did genuinely did care about Fiona, uh, really, though, did show that there was a potential for her to switch, to switch side, and you know because of this, I really wish that she did. 
but at the same time, she was she was helping prepare Fiona to be able to stand on her own two feet. And I may not agree with the way that she went about it exactly, but I can you know I, I understand to an extent. Like I said, doesn't mean I agree with it, but I understand. Aya, everyone, I've got something to say to you all. I'm sorry for the worries. I wasn't sure if I should tell you about Irma. Did something happen? We thought you were just out of sorts, that you were trying to get over her death. There's more to it than that, then. Yeah. I couldn't... I couldn't face it. I just didn't want to see you all hurt. I was only seeing what I wanted to. I think... I think doing that only hurt you more. Hang on. What's this about? You didn't do anything wrong, Fifi. Irma was wrong, but she wasn't the only one. It took some time. But now I know. I want to start again, work to rebuild it all. I want to come clean. Will you hear my story? I'm a lousy commander, sorry. Oh, come off it. We're the ones who should be sorry for letting you struggle alone. It might take some time. Is that all right? Of course. <laughs> We'll help you shoulder it. Of course we will. We all will. Wow. She sure is brave. For such a crybaby. <laughs> she was afraid of making mistakes before now. Do you think she's over that? Eh, I doubt it would be that easy. But, so what if she does? At least now. She knows she won't be staying wrong for long. I reckon that's the case, anyhow. Makes you think. We could learn from them. Yeah. I, I like how they tied lands and set up to this. Um, he's like, you know what, like, Senna, you know, she's very self-conscious about her abilities and stuff, and... You know, she's afraid that if she doesn't, you know, do well enough, that she's going to be a disappointment on and all that. And even to a slighter extent with Lance, you know, like, he's not the smartest of the group. But, I mean, he's got a large heart. And I, I, I really like it when they tie certain uh, characters to the hero quest again. It just... And I, 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 you know, I, Oh, right out of the gate, we open up with the fields. Oh. Having finally told her, calling the truth about Irma, Fiona now accepts her for who she really was and has taken a big step forward toward the future. Hero class rank has increased to level 20. Rank cap has been, uh, yep. Some relationships changed. And Tower was really the only other one who kind of knew what was going on. We're so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tala was really the only other one who knew the full story. Now, I'm pretty sure that means a bunch of quests... Some relationships changed. Uh, ...opened up. But... Unfortunately, we are not gonna... Some relationships changed. Well, that's because we will do Riku and Mana Banana. Riku get job done right. Uh, let's see. I think. This one was it. For, uh, right here, I think it was. At least I think. I could be wrong. I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. Uh, so let's clean the clothes because clean your body, clean your playing. mind, I guess. Alright, let's see here. 
Nicknames. The Sea. Intel Camp. That's where we are right now, I believe. Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and just listen to some of these quick. We'll, we'll start with nicknames. I want to hear this. Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about that thing. Hey, Land Land. Please don't. Yeah, Land. Yeah. Only Fiona has the right to call Land Land Land. But why Land Land? Don't you like your name, Land Land? You need being a troll. You keep that up, and I'll start calling you Yon Yon. How about that? Uh, is it Union or no? Yeah, Union. I don't know how you pronounce that. I need to actually audibly hear it. Just kill me and be done with it. <laughs> so me, so me that I'd be no, no, maybe. No, no. Ah. Ah. no, no. And I'm Sen Sen? No, you're you're Senny. Mio Mio? N no, no, Mio. You, your name is perfect. It is fine just the way it is. <laughs> Not like a bird call. Mio, Mio! Ka, ka! These all don't exactly trip off the tongue, do they? And for Tyon, oh boy. <laughs> like, yeah? Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Hi, Ty. I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't know what that was. I, 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 oh my god. Hi, Ty. On, on? Ty, on? No, that's just a name, Noah. Yep, that's the one. But that's just my name. Hey, uh, you guys, let me know. Which nigga do you prefer to retire? Tie tie or on on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and during the day. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to talk about that thing. You know, I'm a sturdy guy and all, but even I wouldn't want to have to do any more of that prison labor crap. Lost number soldiers had to do it every day at the prison camp, right? Talk about rough. And some of them had been in prison for 10 years or more. In our old world, that's like working from our from our first term, right through to the 10th, and then some. That must have taken incredible willpower. The people of the city have fought against Mobius for years and months beyond accounting. The resilience fostered by enduring such strain must be what helped them survive. Makes kind of sense. Guess there's a lesson there we can bear to learn too. It goes to show, they know a thing or two about sacrifice too. We've still got a way to go, haven't we? Yeah, we best shore up our resolve so we can stand along alongside them without shame. Here, here. Hey, listen to this, will ya? Okay, okay, let's say it uh, once and for all. How Sportis works together with Monica's family, the Van Dams. And opposed to them are the Doyles. Are the Doyles. People who call them the conserv conservatives. And keep and keeping the middle ground between them is House Rhodes. Is that right? Okay, so yeah, so you got two of them working together. Well, yeah, when, I already forgot the name. Uh, but you got one working with House Van Dam. You got one against them. And well, yeah, it shows you how well I pay attention to things. And Rhodes is the one in the middle, okay? Man, city politics are confusing as they as all get out. Okay, so that's that's only four. What about the other two? So why are they opposing each other in the first place? They're all city people, ain't they? The more people in a community, the more opportunity for ideological divides. I think this is one of those. Though they share a common goal, they disagree on the best way to achieve it. I have some experience with them. There's bound to be some story behind the story, one that we don't know. It's always something like that. Indeed, we should tread carefully whatever we have to deal with. Though. 
That does seem prudent. If we misstep, we might become embroiled in the conflict as well. I still hope one day everyone can work together as one. Is that naive? No, Santa, no. That's that is something to hope to look to look forward to. And though I mean though you could say a lot about you know society today, we all have a lot of you know silver goals, but we just can't really agree on the how. Uh, Uh, yeah, yeah, this is it's, it's one of the reasons why I just don't really get involved with politics and just, you know what, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to do what I think is right, and if I make a mistake, I'm going to take my lumps and not complain about it. But anyway, see you. Been meaning to talk to you guys. It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it. The sea just seems to go on forever. If we, if we were still in calling Gamma... We never have ended up coming here. Don't think we would have either, eh, Noah? Ugh, sorry guys. Yeah, no way. Don't think I could have even imagined spending time just gazing out on, on the water. Well, of course not. If we had the time to spend staring at the sea, we had time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these is good for us from time to time. Agreed. We're getting a call. Huh? It's Commander Isra. Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do you for? I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by calling Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment. I would hate to be inconvenient. I would hate to inconvenience you. Yes, I understand. We'll be there. Alright, see you later then, Tyon. What'd he say? And we should meet him at Lambda whenever we have time. All right, then let's pay him a visit when we have, when we next have a gap in our schedule. Oh, oh, those, oh, this is Tyon. I'm sorry, I thought this was Riku. My bad. Oh, this was a week. Oh, ooh, ooh, Tyon story. Nice. Why did I think it was Riku? Again, I'm not paying attention. Eyes work. Let's keep things on a tight loop. All right, here we are. Look at this sort of one. I remember we're talking about it. I'll handle this. And it's his story. Oh, now I remember. Tiny got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Well, I has got to think. Wait, we've done pretty much everyone's story here, right? Well, no, everyone except for Senna. Like, her own personal story. We've done Lance, we've done Uni. I wonder if Noah and Mio are gonna have their own little side stories. Even though they're, they're pr probably not because they are the main characters and their story is tied to the main story. But. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was an imoase. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue, use this. Yeah. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvesi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue.
Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time. But at some point it was destroyed in a great battle. And there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us. So perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looked like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony. Along with Nimue. Well, that's something. Yeah. Nimue left with you? Why, sir? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. I wondered at her motivations, but I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't are... have to be so cagey, Commander. Okay. Right. So, just give by that context, I'm guessing there's still some Agnian uh, troops and leaders who are still loyal to Mobius. And that would make a little more sense why there were some Agnian troops that we have to fight. And, and, and I, I, I have to ask, like, what is up with... It seems like most of the uh, Agnes... Uh, Colonies, like the commanders or someone in the colony has some dark secret. We love like, or just a secret in general. We like Alexandria. You know, we learned that um, she poisoned the previous commander, and yeah, I mean, again, look, because you know she kind of had her good reasons why. We like their previous commander was just doing a horrible job, costing lives and resources. They had to be removed again. Methods of doing that you could say are questionable uh at best <laughs> and then you know teach you know his backstory to where he could have and probably it or was uh I mean, I mean he said it without admitting it you know that how he was a very you know bloodthirsty leader at one point and like oh crap I, this is horrible what am i doing with my life and then you know call me mu with you know irma which i again okay, no, not really you know, dark or whatever, or yeah, dark. <coughs> I guess, but you know, her secret. You know, she put the front that she was nice and friendly with them, but then also revealed some skeletal. Yeah, they have that. That's all. Yesterday's news, and then now this. You know, kind of unique, uh, interesting though that Imoe, you know, she left that colony, which was freed at some point in the past. I got. I just had a thought. 
Okay, so there's those there's cradles there. I want and if they're still working. I wonder if she was you know sent back to that cradle, to the cradles there. Oh, okay. All right, we gotta keep going. Ag, you can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But Nimue, not Imoe. Isn't that the reason why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it had put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth, yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. Why does he not? I feel like there's more. Mm. I feel like there's more. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? Everyone, get some rest. You don't say rest, you say so I'll go take a nap. Not liking the look of that sky. Lambda shelter. Well, I guess Riku. Come on, let's keep going. Damn yeah, it. Uh, oh, they do need to be. The I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. I just wanted to confirm. Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyler. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. <laughs> Count us in, mate. Saffronia. That's that thingy, right? The tree, yes. We saw one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. <laughs> what? I don't like flowers and junk. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! Well, banana, it would be kind of obvious. Well, you need not so much, but hey, hey, hey. You need to do her thing. I'm not this judging. This is unusually proactive for you, banana. Why so? Ladies and flowers are like peas of same pot. No idea what banana talk about. But someone had to keep banana out of trouble. <laughs> That okay with friend Tile? Sure. Thank you, everyone. All right, well, we're off to talk to Isser. Back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, guys. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. It was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. Survivor's guilt. A little, pro probably a little bit. Commander. Kion. Sir? Bob. No? Okay. <laughs> if Nimue's been reborn. Yes, I If she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Does Isser have feelings for her? Oh, interesting. Yes, sir. I promise. Then as I do love something, you'll let it go. I don't get it. Why 
Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Well, the castle shouldn't be getting involved since we liberated it. What? I'm sure you must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like Noah, you know, he was put in a position where he had to, you know, if, like he said before, like he was put in the same position that N was, that he was so willing to, you know, do whatever to save her life. So, si civil, I would say similar circumstances, but he understands. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, He's got no, the survivor's appeal, I'm, too. I'm just... You just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Get a room! place earlier. The last time I was sailing around trying to find new locations and stuff. So, Tyon, feeling the pressure yet? No, why would I be? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, last time... You know, when I came over here, there was like just nothing but rocks. Right here, and now, oh look, it's open. How convenient. Ooh. Looks like we got some big boys in there. Oh, they're digging through the rocks. Okay, that makes more sense. There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Can the Nana not see any people? Whole unit made up of Levnesses. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. The oh, council. Yeah. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? I don't think another stealth mission. We're not the stealthiest bunch, guys. Me particularly. I'm not stealthy. Although I do have a habit of walking up on people when they least expect me. So maybe. Whoa, check this place out. We can stay undetected this way. Alright, okay, we can unless we start shouting at the top of our lungs. Like, hey, console over here. So, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess it. Oh, this is a rock pillar. Okay. I thought. I'm sorry, that pillar looked like a person. Oh, well, 
hopefully after we save this place, we get this more areas to explore. And a new ally! Which means a lot more quests! <laughs> uh, we'll have to let them know about this. Right. When the foreigner starts moving, we won't have enough time. We'll have to do something before then. I wonder what's around here. Yeah, if they're willing to listen to us without shooting first. And... Oh, they broke through. A fight! Agnian Autolevs, is it? But who are they fighting? The members of Nimue's colony? Could it be? So it would seem. Let's help them. Roger! trust <gasps> or not <laughs> oh that's her isn't it Nimue Nimue um. yeah, like, wait she looks familiar like oh it is Nimue yeah Woo! they're all a little hesitant I know it's hard for you to believe us but I promise you we aren't lying <laughs> you could cut the tension with a knife. Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? I said that would be a I mean. Ooh. Get mucked out. These Lebnises were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force. They're drawing near. Maybe some suppressed memories she recognizes them? Very well. I'll choose to trust you. I mean, it kind of makes sense because, you know, Uni kind of had some, you know, memory flashbacks. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. I'll take you to meet our chief. To the chief? Chief? Oh, probably the person who became, you know, the boss after Nemoy left. Oh, Zion, what is up with the glowing? Oh, the star point, okay. As I'll say, you know, like how when um, they ran into the, the fur, their first uh, Mobius, Union just started getting all those flashbacks to her, to her last encounter with her hey, this boss. One Oh my gosh, you bought your freaking monster. Leave me alone. Oops, they found us. No, nope. we did. We're just gonna run. And yeah, he can't catch us. We're fast. Lightning fast. Who is this chief of theirs? Is this like a rare thing? Probably. Sir Tyon, was that your name? <laughs> uh, oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? Um, well, you see. Oh, right. This is gonna be, he's gonna be kind of, I don't think tripping, 
But it was kind of he was like, oh man, I'm talking to my commander when she's this small child, and I'm the pretty much the adult now. It's like we know but th this means though again. Like, hopefully we could get like um Ethel. Hopefully we could get Ethel back at some point. Which you know this gives me hope. This gives me hope that we can get Ethel back. But yeah, I just got kind of funny. Like, kind of like oh, uh, uh, like wow, this is awkward. <laughs> Never thought I'd see this happen. Right, your dog tag on your dog tag. Oh, you tie on your dig yourself. What? Into a hole. Tie on. I guessed. Uh, I'm told I have great intuition. <laughs> Guessing a name for me. <laughs> It isn't even a challenge. Wow, is that true? Yeah, you bet. Wow, oh, she bought it. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Oh, she's doing my head in. <sighs> Just stop it, tell her. Oh. Great idea, Nat. <laughs> By the way, Nimue, you're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. <laughs> Uni, we've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? Yeah. <laughs> hey, something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, but I like that about you. <laughs> Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Uni is as uni does. <laughs> Besides, hmm? I'm not right. That delivery. Oh, kudos to the voice actress. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna put it on the wall. Just, 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 just stare at that. I think it's not just the rebirthing thing. He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. Poor fella. Your blade. Huh? <laughs> I have the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. Oh, Tyon! I did? Uh, uh no. Uh, I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. Uh. Right. What's wrong? You all came from outside, didn't you? Yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know we're not allowed to leave it's forbidden uh, you see uh, so yeah this colony it follows the whole isolationist uh philosophy yeah well unfortunately it looks like that philosophy is about to come crashing down oh. and i guess when she left Honestly, the first time she would be all it's not back. all that wonderful A world of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes. It's a pitiful place. Still, even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Huh? It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world, well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. Oh, the feels! Oh, the feels! We need him with all the feels today, boys and girls. Oh! Whoa, hello! That is like an alpha right there. Holy crap, that guy is big. That's a big boy. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll try to take a photo of it. I guess it's wrong. Like, oh wow, yeah, that, that is gorgeous. 
If there was paradise, this is it. <sighs> Pretty. Glad you like them. They're nearly in full bloom. Give it three more days, and they'll be covering the whole cliffside. Wow. Now that I want to see. Yeah. The chief is over there. Let's go. This is our first time here, isn't it? Okay. New allied colony data. All right. Um... Oh, wait a minute. There's been changes to colony relations. Oh. We're going to follow her. Okay. These call me. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. These call me. Della is the. Who's V? Consul V. Oh, he was a. Okay. I guess that's that was the guy who we saw earlier. Well, we gotta take out another Mobius. And I don't think we can reason with that one. And again, if this is just old Levinses, then Yeah, this is going to wreck his flame Whoa. clock. It's so pretty. Just like Wait, the image Nimrod showed you. Since we've caught sight of anyone from the outside. I've never seen people from the outside at all. This is my first time seeing some actual convincing people. A peaceful life. I should write this all down. You know, the problem with isolationism is eventually at some point you're going to have to either go out and get help or you're going to be found so out. So much to see, huh? Inside. All right, time to meet the boss. I thank you, kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Chief! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing war rages on constantly in the outside world. <sighs> if that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or, you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders. As thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. Ah. We have some new names registered. Mm. So that's the state of affairs. So it makes me think of this, uh, the Clone Wars episode, I forgot what they're called, but they're like little lemur people. You know, they, they've left their, you know, they've tried to find a new place to locate to get away from the war, not get involved in, 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 in you know, the war eventually, you know, with, uh, the Clone Wars eventually came to their doorsteps. And, you know, the Elder is going, you know, if you're to be destroyed, that's our fate, you know, that's our fate, so be it. You know, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this. And of course, you know, be the good guys we are, where it's like, sure, you, know, you may choose not to fight and just accept this, but we're going to choose to fight, because that's what we do. That's why I feel like what's going to happen. Is this place a crop-growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kevers. Seems like a nice way to live. It's warm. They live in comfort. 
Yeah. How could they deserve punishment? Hmm. Mm. What's this? I think this was from another me. Remember the battlefield at Kana? I found it there. Back there? Is Nimue different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? <laughs> Elegant, graceful, refined. Diane, choose your words carefully. <laughs> no way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. Okay. Oh no, sorry. I didn't. What I wanted to say was. I don't suppose we could change. But you know, yeah. some things are different sometimes. Huh. Because this time round, we're all Aboros. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. Uni? Ah, oh, hey. Oh, good lord, you two. Get a I room. I didn't expect encouragement from you. Well, you do make a good cuppa. <laughs> oh. If it's... I don't know if anything's more obvious than... There are those, those two's interaction, how they feel towards each other. Hmm. Die on, a guy who's so smart, you're, you sure are oblivious to some things. The harvest is already just a few months away. That's right. It'll yield plenty of food for us to eat soon enough. So sit tight and relax. The peaceful life. I mean, yeah, the love, that love confession at Agnes Castle, Castle wasn't anything to indicate. Tyon, it just went right over your head. At this rate, it's going to be up to us. Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean... I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? No, than me. This should be me. Okay, hold on. I'm so tired of making tea from Safari Blossom. Oh, wow, that sounds like it'd be very plain for a pretty color. You must let me have a sip next time. Peaceful life. Now, uh, let's let's read this. Let's read this peaceful life stuff. Right? The people have to make so much noise. Ah. Of course, I have to have a bad controller. That hasn't been causing me too much grief. I just wanted to confirm. What a peaceful and relaxing place. Was it Safar... Safaronia's... Well, you botched that name. I know I did. Everywhere. And a uh, self-sufficient lifestyle. It's really not a bad place to be. It felt like time flowed slower there. Or rather, life in the world outside in our world is full of bustle and busyness, perhaps. Well, duh, there's a war on out here. Every day is different from the last. Birds work too hard. When divided time when divided time well, no need for busyness. I have to find a way to accommodate deep rest and recreation of self. Whoa, Riku here dropping some serious wisdom. Deep rest sounds nice and all, but where where are we supposed to find the time to do that in? When feeling most busy, is what involves important to carve up peaceful time. Life not worth living if always hurrying. Facts. Facts. Preach it, Riku. Wow, that's a painfully insightful remark. 
And like they didn't notice when they got slapped in the face. Maybe the least we can do is make sure to take our rest when and where we can. Before. Yes, that is important. Because if all you just work, all you do is work yourself, work yourself, work yourself. You're gonna crash and burn, and you're gonna be so exhausted you can't do anything. And then you'll be forced to take some time to relax. And it's okay kind of like if you make the time to you'll know, just to let yourself decompress and everything while being forced to decompress, you'll feel a lot better. I mean, of course, you'll feel better either way, but it's better if you can make the time to decompress yourself versus having the world around you kind of like, no, that is enough! Bam! You're taking a break. That's very advisable. At its first step, please to try napping for three days straight. You can't be serious, man. What are we, no I mean, hey, if I could, I would nap for three days straight. But unfortunately, <laughs> the world doesn't allow that. Red lad's such close-minded. Then here is alternative. Do some strength conditioning or something. Now that's more like it, yeah. Give some workout routines for the, the workout buffs. No, it's Spark, it isn't. Yeah, that you is coming to you. Okay, next on the list is. All right, uh, it's an old, it's the old flame clock. Oh, we gotta go that way. Well, we'll just take the shortcut. And this was the colony's old flame clock. Tyon, what's up? It's just this foreness. Oh wait, oh, it's still going. A flame clock. Oh man, and it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Huh. <sighs> That's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Well, no, go ahead and start breaking it. Tyon? Riku, do you know much about Foronis's? Silly question. <laughs> Maintaining Colony 9 Foronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh, yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight. We're going to play a little trick. A uh, trick? Uh, tricksy tricks. And just like that, it's working again. How is it? Well, Riku does sure work fast. <laughs> Friend was right. Piranus can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna send it running out. If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Uh, yeah, we're kind of on the clock here, buddy. Well. Mechanicus of Riku's talents can do this in 30 minutes. <coughs> wow. Hey, yeah, he does work fast. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Feronis and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repairs. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it. 
And by split up, we're still going to be in one party. How did I figure that out? We need the three kinds of parts and an ether cylinder. We can confirm them by Iris later. Cube chips. Well, we already pretty much got everything we need except for the cube chips. Waves. Ooh, is that what I think you know. Yeah, that's teleport. Let's jump down here. Yeah, I know that's, that's a little bit there, Tanya, but you'll get over it. You're going to fight? Uh, not quite. We're, um... Tyon, I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Ah. Uh... You could... get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies... I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening? I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this time. Sorry, I, I made this connection earlier. I didn't voice it. Yeah, you know, this is kind of like well, how the conservatives in the city want to be. They want to be you know, isolated. They want to you know, live in this, you know, kumbaya. Everything is awesome everything is peaceful you know society and you look at it it's you know, it's, it's beautiful it's nice but you know you know, yeah yeah gosh girl i'm gonna botch your name Nem Nemue. Nemue. there we go i i hope did i say it right but you know she's got a conscience that i can't you know she's like i can't ignore what's going on out there it's a problem and as i say you know sooner or later that troubles can come knocking on their door, like the uh, the, the conservatives. They think, you know, we just mind our business, we do our thing. You know, the you know, the councils won't just they'll leave us alone. But obviously, we know that that's not the case. They want control over everything. They don't want anyone to have free will or individuality. They're like, no, you gotta stay in the system. But anyway, long. There's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. <coughs> Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. Nimue. Nimue, yeah, Please. I did say it right. All right. I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition that is when we first came here it was like an awakening there are still beautiful places like this in the world we have to keep this place safe that's what we're fighting for once you've seen how we do things promise me that you'll protect this place that fight belongs to you my own fight yes you have a deal tyon i'll watch all of you how you fight i'll burn it into here Riku done. Time to light fire. And the reactor once more. It lives. It lives. And it's ready Brilliant. to do its part. It worked. Like, yeah, Rico is great. Rico is best. Hey, hey, was it meant to float away? Yes, it was. Huh? Rico, did you input the coordinates? You're gonna try of to course. read. 
Riku fed for honest numbers just as directed. What's going on? Yes, yeah, Shuka, try to lead it away. Lead V away. We've made ourselves a lure. A lure? Now I get it. That thing's gonna lure in the Mobius and beat it up. They know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Pharonis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Pharonis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack? Honestly, I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? And no. then we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder. Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Pharonis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Ooh, Taya, you sneaky, sneaky dog. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. All right. Well, let's do this. Oh, I see trouble. Is it go time? This guy really is an idiot. Yeah. All right, what's your plan there, Riku? Oof. While those Pharonises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. We'll hit them where it will hurt them the most. A console. Got it. Ah. Divide and conquer. Diversion tactics. Oh. Sets into that dumb Mobius face. We'll take him down for sure. That's it. We, need, we just can't jump down. We need to get behind him. All right. Tyon's the man with the plan. There he is. Get ready, everyone. Ah, it's you lot. Wait, is this a trap? Sir. Sorry about that, mate. Turns out you had a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. <laughs> Happening. This guy's in serious denial. Uh. Anyhow, looks like he's genuinely clueless about Nimue and the others. Promise us you'll turn you around your and go back like the that. way you came, and we will let you go. Give a message to your masters, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. What? Mm. You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the screaming. And I will enjoy yours before the day is through. That's why I am Mobius. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will cut through. Uh, here we go. I will fill this body with the echoes of your dying screams. He's got a thing about screaming. Well, let's see how much you scream. Uh, Oh, is 
What's he saying sorry for, creep? Okay, now we're going to get Power Rangers. Understanding. Uh, Self-destruct? Self-destruct. Oh boy, it is guns blazing. Ooh. What did you guys take cover? Yeah, what'd you? Okay. Dang. Now that was an explosion. What the spark did you do? Friend, want to know? Don't know. Will it take long? <laughs> Explaining principles take half a day. Then I'll pass. <laughs> oh, well, poor whatever the snap happened, it all went down a tree. It's like, oh, I wanted if so I was much Mobius, to tell you about it. Though. I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Yeah, but here's one question. Mobius might be wondering what happened to V. So they may send another group to Tyon, investigate. I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true, there are times when our fight takes a toll on us. But we carry on that fight because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today. Mobius, who made this world the way it is. We have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world. One without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But sometimes we do need rest to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land. So that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. I mean, as long as the chief lets us. Thank you. I'm pretty sure she'll be grateful that we saved the colony. Our mission. Huh? If we manage to win, there's someone I want you to meet. Someday. Oh, that'll be a happy reunion. Man, uh, I get these side, these hero side stories for the R of Amy. I get this, this hero quest, like I said before I say again, these hero quests are so amazing. I think Senna is really the only one besides Noah and me, like, again, I think their story is tied to the main story, so they're, of course, they're probably not gonna get a side story. But take on Istra's request, Tyler and the party protected Nimue's home, calling from Mobius. But, uh, that was beautiful, guys. That was this was a beautiful quest. Class rank limit broken. Tyan Soul Link slot. All right. Oh. Wow. There's been a change in colony relations. A colony commanded by Colonel Sophie and its force is composed entirely of the Levens. Yep. To protect. 
Alright. Well, we'll have to come back some other time to explore uh, the Lost Colony. But, but, the reason why, though, is because we, you know, because we're going to be you know, relaxing, having fun. You just we need things gonna, to me. Well, yes, we are, but we're going to actually celebrate your birthday in here, baby girl. So let's go ahead and travel to your colony. Wait, no, this is the wrong one. This is colony. Oh, ah, there it is. Ioni Ioni. And we're gonna, after all that, we deserve a pate. Especially after all the emotional crap we've gone through with Irma. Like, oh, yeah. we, we, need to, we need to relax and have a party now. Let's rest and heal up. We'll do Shall we put our heads together? Hopefully, this wasn't saying too long. Um, sorry if I got this wrong, but everyone in Calling Hyota is talking about your birthday, Alexandria. Oh, it's on my real birthday, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, because that actually makes sense. We wouldn't want the Commander's Homecoming Day to be to become common knowledge now, would we? Yeah, don't want to show weakness, I get you. I do, but... Birthdays... Birthdays, Alex. Birthdays are just special. Give me your own actual birthday secret? That's pretty tragic. You think I'm tragic? No. It's tragic if we can't celebrate with you, yeah? What a nice thing to, thing to say, Yuni. Yeah, take it. Appreciate it while you can, because Yuni doesn't always hand out uh, nice compliments. But your exact age being kept a mystery brings problems of its own. Because now there are people who wonder if this year is your final term before homecoming. You're right, there are. And things have changed in the meantime. Well, this is just my opinion. But I think it's a bit harsh to make people who care about you have to worry every year that it's going to be your last. People who care about me? I suppose so. Yeah, it still kind of boggles me that she's only like in her sixth term, even though she looks like she's in her tenth. Yeah. I guess it's one of those weird anime tropes where characters' ages don't match up with their looks. That's what I'd think if I wasn't familiar with the situation. I fear that I might not be able to spend more time with you. Oh? Hmm? Yes, I see. If I were to depart on a crucial mission, never to return, that would be less than ideal. That's what actually be... It actually would be quite scary. Okay, okay, Alex. Calm down. I need to talk to Chickadee about this. I understand. Huh? Strange, I can't get a connection. Maybe she's busy? That's probably it. First time, though. You could try visiting her in person. Not going to work, I'm afraid. I'm traveling with you. It's fine. We'll just go together. Whereabouts of the colony is she likely to be? We, be? we better find her as soon as possible. Her friend will be enjoying the celebration. You really are very kind-hearted people, aren't you? Alright then, if you don't mind accompanying me until we find Chickadee, you're very welcome. And of course, it's your birthday! We're gonna celebrate like it's 1963! Even though I have no idea what 1963 was like, personally. No idea where your little favorite is, I'm afraid. What a way to talk. And after I have come, especially to see you. I never asked you to, Dave and Alex. And here I thought we were friends. You're so cruel. Are you pulling my leg? Of course I am. I should have a little chance in Kyrio. Okay, because we're termates, I'll tell you this. Like, Alright, you got me, you got me. I'm the only one who can put up with your attitude problem, so you better appreciate me. So quick, are you actually jealous? Is that why you're so cruel to Chickadee? Huh? What? No, I just don't suffer fools. Baka! 
Still, let me know when you find her. Now trot on, your clutter got the place. I'll come back and spend some quality time with you soon. Yeah, she's a totally suitor. Eh? Don't put put your back out. Yeah, suitor. Eh? Oh wow, we have to find four different locations. Oh, Dude, so that's how they do it. Oh, it's raining. That's not a good sign. Oh, please don't say something bad and have a chicken eat. Aiza! Not seen chicken eat. Curses. Any idea where she might be? Hmm. Why is he so scared? Sorry, no. He's just being set up. That's okay. We'll just keep working. Say, if you find her, uh, Dana Alex. Yes. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday yet. Have you forgotten the day? I remember. Just wanted to say. Okay, now he's a total opposite of scary. And, uh, you're an odd one, right? Oh, so that's how they're doing. Is he the odd one? Maybe you're the odd one. You ever think about that? Huh? Huh? I mean, you're the one who keeps your age a secret, and, and, and I've learned never to ask a lady her age. It's a, it's a, it's a taboo. But I have done some other dumb things before. <coughs> Sorry, do you have any idea where we might find Chickadee? Chickadee? Yeah, I saw her leaving by the north gate. Not sure what for, though. So don't grill me on the tickets. Chicky's location. And down here. Alright. Like, why would someone all the way out there may have an idea where she is? Chickadee hasn't come this way. Hmm. We're going, all, going back to, you know, like, oh yeah, she went by the North Gate. That's probably the North Gate. You haven't been fighting again, have you? Again? No, no, nothing like that. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. You just spent so much time with me. I'm a bit jealous, that's all. Honestly. Yo, know, these are some great friends. If friends who you would just pull your leg and yank your chain like that. I appreciate them, guys. I appreciate them. Anyway, should we send out a search party? No, that won't be necessary. It's... <coughs> No one just calls her needless for you. Still, not good optics for the lieutenant to be AWOL, is it? Your claws are well and truly out today, Chile. You think? Well, I guess you'd better pay me a bit more attention. If I hear from her, I'll tell her word. Wow, yeah, everyone's like fighting for her attention. Like, Tim Alex, that makes me senpai. <laughs> uh. Sounds like a scoop. All right. Well, back to the colony. I'm getting peckish. Do well, you have any old. snacks? Yeah, we'll give you some food quick. Thanks for the food. Shut up. I'm getting hungry now just that from... That was a meal. Just from looking at that. Hey, All right. so can we talk? Where does Chickadee flown off to then? Has she got out somewhere? Somebody saw her leaving Kali Iota by the northern gate, right? There's nothing there except warehouses and nobody is there nobody there has seen her. Well in that case, what's further beyond? Yeti's rise? Oh I wonder. Do you have an idea? I think so. Anyway, you've been a great help to me. Oh, let me guess. Don't tell me. Now you're going to total off on some secret errand on your own, yeah? I don't have any confirmation that I'm right. I can't drag you up. Sorry, I thought she was going to say something like, Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, I don't have any confirmation that I'm right. I can't drag you along in good faith. You're really saying this. Now? It's, he's making a good point. This is about the worst smarting time to go off on your own. Plans have the right up. Why is it so important to you that you do this alone? This is my business. And you're our friend. We're making it our business, girl. I think at this point, it's all our business. Yeah. 
Your decisiveness is one of your strong points, but your unwillingness to accept help is a distinct flaw. Can't argue with that. You're obviously in a hurry, so why not just tell us what you know? Mm. There's a rare flower that grows there. Chickadee will have got to pick it. What kind of flower? Oh, is this for your birthday? I assume so. When we first came across it, she, she asked me not to tell anyone. She found meaning in keeping it secret. So it was like her good luck charm. Which is why she's gone alone. Oh no, I'm sorry. We made you spill the beans on that one. Don't worry about it. It's an easy exchange for chickadees' well-being. And I couldn't assess the situation impartially. As Simon says, I've never been good at relying on others. That's something, though, if you're aware of it. The old you would have... Wouldn't have picked up on something like that, I reckon. Plans. So yeah, just say it once up at a time. I will. Thank you. Today's rides though. The monsters there aren't so strong. They're putting it up in bows. They call it the chickadee. Right, let's get her found. Alright. And yeah, this will probably be our last quest for, for the day. Just teleport over here. Yeah, this will probably be our last quest for the today's video. And we have some pate, some cake. Oh, big bad wolves saw the little red riding hood. Chickadee. It's coming from over there. Ooh, put it in a rock and a hard place. Seems like we'll have to loop around from the right. Then we dash all the way up. Huh. Is there a faster way to get up there? Aha, uh -huh. yep. You can just teleport. Alright. Excuse us. We want to fight you guys, we want to fight those guys. Assume they're pushovers. It has to be done. Come on, yeah. Focus on us. There we go. 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 And done. That was spectacular. Team Alex? But what? I've been looking for you. You had me worried. Oh, you brought everyone? I'm sorry, we didn't know it was supposed to be a secret. Oh no, it's okay. I'm not angry. I'm actually quite pleased. I was going to give you this. Aww. What Milla stuff? I see. Sorry guys, I kind of spaced out there for a second. I see. Yes, that is rare in this region. Oh, hang on. This is one of the flowers of the meeting, isn't it? And it means... It stands for Revealing Secrets. We'll learn it later, but it's because of how subtle they bloom. Like, they're all fruitive and shy. You can be pretty stubborn, Dame Alex, so I thought the flower might give you a push. What's this all about? We need to talk to the captains, properly. But I'm always talking to the captains. Why, just today? Yes, but did you really talk to them? This means I know you never talk about your actual feelings. I worry about you. I know it's important to keep some information confidential for tactical reasons and all. But even so, I I don't want the captains to go to their ends with regrets. Silly girl. You put yourself in this much danger for that? You'd never have taken it seriously otherwise. Dang! Ooh. Cheeky, cheeky, chickadee. Anyway, I'm the only person in Ionis who can tell you off. <laughs> That's an important part of the lieutenant's job. You're right. The reason I came running here without thinking twice is because you're always looking out for me. I find that you're constantly saving me. What are you trying to say here? 
Well, chickadee, the thing is, do you want to hear what I've been hiding from you all this time? Wait, you're saying that you, to the old commander? Have I disappointed you? No, no, I finally understand. That's why you are so particular about your captains. They all know that. Oh, gosh. Ugh, wow. Really hard. I'm having a hard time talking today. That was really dry. They all know, don't they? I was just being careful. Warped methods wield warped results. Anyone who's ever seen Mobius knows that. It's not warped. You're not warped, Dame Alex. And the captains aren't either. You took it on a terrible burden for the greater good. I think that makes you strong. It makes you worthy of respect. Chickadee. I mean, okay, yes. Again, like... I mean, to me, it's a little warped on, you know, what she did with the old commander, but again, I don't blame her. You know? But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I already spoke my piece on that topic enough times, so just move on. I became a lieutenant so you wouldn't have to be alone on the journey through life. You always put everyone else ahead of you. I want to be at your side, support you. And I still want that, forever. Don't you feel blessed, Commander, to inspire such feelings? I do. Trust and betrayal are two sides of one coin. And that risk can never truly be eliminated, but if I have to suffer anyway, I'd rather it be by Chickadee's side. That's how I feel. Now, about my birthday. Oh, I'll take care of all that. I'm taking requests. Ah, good. In that case, please issue a formal proclamation announcing that I'm in my sixth term. Eh? Uh, and I'll have to tell you the real date. What? It's like she does her whole world in the It's like, what? Wait, you're only in your sixth term? And you're this? It's not your real date? Are you sure? You've always kept it so secret. Aren't you the one who disapproved? You said it was cruel to make people worry about my homecoming every birthday. Did I really put it like that? Yeah, I think you did, Noah. <laughs> We're changing how we live. That means we have to change all our old strategies, too. You're terrifyingly decisive. <laughs> Aren't I? I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Yeah, I believe they did commanders. They get a little scary. Well, this is all fine by me. I just have one thing to say. Happy birthday, Dame Alex. Thank you, Chickadee. Aww. Here we get. Oh, come on. We don't get to see the birthday cake. But the courier for Chickadee and the party. Alexandria made public both her true birthday and the royal age of six terms. And her real age of six terms. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Alright. Well, let's see. What are they doing? Let's see. Future commander. Oh, Chicken is gonna become the future commander? Oh! Nice! Nice! Well, guys, you don't really got much to say, you know. Yeah, I've just got a lot of good, warm, fuzzy feelings in my tum tum in this episode. I mean, it started, you know, bittersweet, you know, happy, Every day sad, but you had a happy ending with. Fiona to be tired of reuniting with his uh, mentor, uh, Nimue, you know, saving all those beautiful, beautiful trees. Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, that is the vacation hotspot hmm. if I ever saw one. I really wish there was a place like that in our world. It's like, oh my gosh, going on vacation there would probably be a pain in, in finance and say good lord. Um, and, and then we got uh, Alexander to be a little bit more open about herself. And, and you know, again, you know, a, a central theme in a lot of Xenoblade games that we 
mentioned in the past fix this. is sharing burdens and and y'all so y'all you know relaxing like take a moment to rest so those burdens don't you know crush you underneath the weight but oh yeah guys you know when we come back though we're gonna uh, probably target or focus on all of the um uh oh yeah all the um City quests it's probably starting off with going home. I uh, will probably uh, hit on uh, the. Uh, we'll definitely do the Julietta quest too, but. Oh yeah. So at least one more episode, of hopefully, uh, before we get back to the main story. Though, of course, off camera, I'm probably gonna go and check out the, the hidden colony and see what that's all about. But thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Wow. <laughs> Words can't express all the warm, fuzzy feelings I'm experiencing my tum tum right now. Especially in the Fiona Irma story. Oh my gosh, Fiona is such a precious cinderella that must be protected at all costs. <laughs> and hopefully, Insert will get to see that way again soon. Tune in next time when T-Rex tackles the city quest to hopefully mitigate the tension between the lost numbers and the conservationists in the excited world of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And the best way to do that is to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell today. <laughs>